One thing that's, that I found really useful when using a Linux or any sort of Unix system at all is uh, knowing how to create shell scripts. Because what shell scripts do, if the, those of you who don't know what shell scripts are, um, if the name isn't obvious, they're just, you know, scripts that run shell commands. And if I'm, I, I think I'll make a video about um, the shell in general and the basics of it. But for now, I'm going to show you how to make shell scripts. And the great thing about shell scripts is that you can take a bunch of small commands or even complex commands, shell commands, and just put them all into one file and either have them run all at once or have them run if a certain condition is met or a lot of other things. And it's basically just taking all these shell commands and creating a new program out of it. Um, it's basically its own programming language at this point. But the thing is, the great thing is, if you're already familiar with all these shell commands and utilities, uh, you already know. You already know how to program in shell, minus, you know, the uh, the little details about them, um, or about shell scripts, for example, like if statements or other things like that. But if you already know how to use these shell programs or these utilities that you use normally in the shell, like echo or cat or whatever, um, then you already basically know how to um, program or to write shell scripts. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm going to get started with a very simple um, example. I'm just going to use the echo command. And I say this is a test. And as you can see, it just prints this is a test. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in a shell script. And to do that, I'm going to create, I'm going to open a file. Let's call it test.sh. And .sh just means .shell. Um, if, if you want to create a bash specific script, you can do .bash or .zsh for zsh, etc. But we're just going to stick with normal POSIX shell. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this echo command in there. This is a test. And if we take this command, test.test.sh, and we just run it through sh, who could have guessed it, it prints out the echo command? Uh, of course, we can add more to this. So we can do echo. This is a second test. And I'm just going to add a third one, just say this is a third test. And it'll just run each one of those commands through the entire script. And so that's at its very core what shell, script, shell scripts are, running, you know, running a bunch of uh, commands within one, com within one command, per se. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and actually remove uh, test.sh. And I'm going to create a new file. I'll call it example, and I'm not going to add an sh to the end of it this time because um, the great thing about using a Linux or Unix system is that file extensions aren't actually necessary, um, unlike Windows. So you can have just a file name, example, and um, leave it at that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And another thing I'm going to show you is how to add comments to shell scripts. And you do that with just a simple pound symbol. And I say this is a comment. And um, one thing that shell scripts or that shell scripts don't have is multi-line comments. So you just have to do another pound sign to say this is also a comment. And yeah, <laughs> there are no multi-line comments, so you just have to live with that. But one thing I'm going to add at the beginning of the file is this little thing right here. It's a comment and a exclamation mark or pound symbol and exclamation mark. And what this does, uh, this has a name to it actually, it's called the shebang. And what this does is when you run this file as a normal command, the shebang at the very top says, hey, take, uh, take this file and execute it to whatever I tell you to execute it through. So in this case, we're gonna tell it to execute this file in slash bin slash sh. And so it's gonna take the file and execute it through slash bin slash sh. And I'm just going to put an echo command here. So this, this is an example. And of course, we can just run it through sh and it'll run perfectly fine. But that's not the point of putting the shebang there. We want to be able to run it as a normal command, like so. And of course, we can't do that because we don't have permission. Because if you look at the file permissions, for example, you can see that we don't have any executable permissions. So, go ahead and uh, 
do ch non pulse x example. And what this does is it just gives us permission to execute um, our file example. And so if we list that again, you can see that we now have x's here indicating that we can execute it. So let's execute example. And it just prints the text of this. But now we don't have to run it through sh every time we want to run something. Um, so um, some other things you can do with shell scripts are variables. So I'm going to create a variable. Let's just call it var. And I'm going to set equal to hello. Or actually, let's change, let's change var. Let's change it to greet. Um, and let's have it echo that command, actually, or that variable. So let's say your greeting is, and then dollar sign, greet. And of course, this will print the variable that we have uh, to, the, to the terminal. And so your greeting is hello. And that's really the basics of um, uh, variables. You can also set a variable equal to a command. So for example, I can set this equal to, um, what, what command do I want to execute? Um, let's do ls to list the contents of a directory. And so I can say um, directory contents are and have it print the variable. And you can see the directory contents are backup, documents, downloads, music. And if I do ls, you can see that's those are the contents of the directory. And so it works. Um, so you can actually run commands through variables. Um, one thing you can also do is you can also define functions in shell scripts. So I'm going to create an example function, call it text, or text. And it's a, uh, if you ever programmed in C before or any language um, like it, the syntax for functions are pretty similar, but not exactly the same. Um, and so we're just going to go, this is text. And let's change greeting back to a normal greeting. And so if I run this, you can see it'll just print our greeting or <laughs> directory contents are hello or something like that. But the way we actually run the contents of our function is we actually have to call our function. So just say text because we defined it right here, but we never actually called it. So we can actually call it just by giving it the name of the function. And as you can see, it gives us um, the output of our function. And so um, this allows you so more so mod modularity between your um, shell scripts. So you can write functions that execute in certain cases or don't execute uh, in different cases. It's the same way you would use functions in a normal programming language. And so that's a great thing to have. But um, another thing I would like to go over that's really nice are um, our, uh, com uh, command line arguments because shell scripts can actually use command line arguments. So as a very basic example, I'm going to do echo arg1 one is, and to access the arguments, uh, command line arguments, um, it's a dollar sign and then the number of the argument itself. So if I want to print, or if I want to get the first argument that's given to the shell script, I do dollar sign one. If I want to get the second argument, dollar sign two, et cetera, et cetera. So arg one is one, arg two is two. And I can do this for all the argument, or all the arguments give the, give the um, shell script. And so let's run an example. And if you run it with no arguments, it's not going to print anything. But if we give it, let's just say, arg, the first argument we want to give it is um, cool. Let's say arg1 is cool uh, with nothing else as a second argument because we didn't give, give it a second argument. And I could say awesome. And it'll say, it'll um, print out the second argument. So pretty straightforward. If you want to print out, or if you want to get the number of arguments given to a command, you can do something along the lines of uh, let's see, num of, of args is, and you do oh, dollar sign pound symbol. And this will give you the number of arguments as well. And if you want to, if you want to get all the arguments in a shell script, um, you can do all args are 
And if you want to get all the arguments um, given to a shell script, you can just do dollar sign asterisk. And if we run this, you'll see that, you know, um, given zero arguments, it won't print anything uh, and tell you there are zero arguments. But if I give, let's say, cool, awesome, mm, what are the, what are the um, word, um, terminal. You can see that it gives us the first two arguments, number of arguments, and prints out all the arguments while we're at it. And so that's really the basics of how you handle arguments in a shell script. Um, and so next, uh, next thing that, we, that is pretty useful for a shell script is knowing how to use if statements. And, uh, and for that, actually, I'm going to write a very simple program. Um, I'm going to write a program that I'm going to write a program that basically, when, when, when run, will take as the first argument the name of a user and print out if that user is online. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement. Um, or actually, sorry, we're going to use a variable. So, user equals dollar sign one. And this, what this does is this sets the first argument equal to the user variable. And so we can say if um, you can say if who, and this will run the who command, we pipe that into grep, and we can say user, um, we can say user, and if we get, um, here, one second, uh, then, okay. So what this does is this will say if, um, this is an if statement, and it'll run the who command, and it'll pipe that into grep, and grep will look for the, the user that's given as the first argument. If it finds it and puts it in, puts its contents into slash dev slash null, this, is, this, will equal a, this will be a true statement. And so if it finds a user, the user that you gave it, then it'll run the first command. If not, it won't. So. Um, I'm going to echo um, user is online. And then we can do the fi. And basically what fi is, is fi will exit out of the uh, if condition. Um, and so at, at the very base, basic of it, um, this is a if statement. And so let's click on that. And if we run the who command, you can see that only one user is online, and that's me. So if I run example by itself, it's you know it's gonna say, it's not gonna say anyone's online. But if I say example Bryce, I look for Bryce, it's gonna, say, it's gonna say Bryce is online. But if I give it a user that isn't online, for example root, it's not gonna print anything because root isn't online at all. Um, what we can do though is we can also add f else statements as well. So you can add else, and if it doesn't find the user, it could say user is offline. And we run that. Right, for, I once again look for my name. I'm online because I'm logged in, but if I look for root, it'll tell me that root is offline or Bob is offline. And then that's how you make a very simple program, um, a very simple shell program, um, just these if conditions and echoes, greps, stuff like that. And you're able to chain these commands together in very intri intricate and meaningful ways to create basically brand new programs. And it's a pretty great thing. All I've shown you so far are probably the bare basic, the bare bones for the shell scripts. But there's, there's a ton more that you can do. Um, the shell scripts have for loops, you can have case statements, um, kind of else ifs, um, you, you can read inputs, print it back out, um, uh, there's a lot more you can do, this is just the very basics that I'm showing you, um, I might actually put something, and put some uh, stuff in the description, uh, like a reference in the description, because there's so much when it comes to shell scripting, it's crazy, but this, like I said, this is just the basics, um, 
really just to pique your interest in shell scripting. You know, the ability to put all these small programs together to build one large program that actually do things pretty well. So that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you whenever.